After watching this video, you'll be able to describe sharing mechanisms available only to external users and understand which license types can use these sharing mechanisms. If you haven't yet, watch the Who Sees What series to understand the basics of sharing in a Salesforce org, as well as the Who Sees What and Experience Cloud playlist. Salesforce offers a sharing mechanism available only to external users. We call this sharing sets. Sharing sets were made specifically for high volume sites, making it easier for large numbers of site users to have access to records or other users. Sharing sets use profiles to give record access to a group of users, unlike sharing rules, which use roles and public groups. A sharing set can use one of two concepts, a direct lookup on the record you want to share, such as the account associated to a case, or an indirect lookup on the record you want to share, such as the account associated to an asset, which is associated to a case. Let's look at a couple of examples to understand how this works. In our first example, Pacifica wants to give customer users on the same account access to each other's cases. To do this, Pacifica creates a sharing set on the case object, giving read access to cases owned by users of the same account. In this way, users within the same account can see each other's cases. This sharing set is using a direct lookup. In our second example, Pacifica wants to give service contractors access to accounts of homeowners who have purchased a solar panel. The solar panel is represented as an asset on the homeowner account. To give contractors access to homeowner accounts, the Pacifica admin does two things. First, she creates an account lookup field on the asset object. Then, she creates a sharing set on accounts. She uses an indirect account lookup on the asset object. The service contractors will get read access to homeowner accounts when the account and asset are linked via lookup. Let's see this in action. Alex, a homeowner, buys a solar panel from a Pacifica reseller, Solar Contractors. He signs an installation and service contract with Solar Contractors. Solar Contractors is added as a lookup to the solar panel asset record with the service contract object. As a result, the solar contractor technicians have read access to Alex's account, so they can call him to set up an appointment. Sharing sets are available to all community licenses. Records shared using sharing sets aren't visible via org-wide defaults, role hierarchies, or sharing rules. You can only create one sharing set per object and per profile. Data shared through sharing sets is visible in reports and dashboards. Sharing sets support the following objects. We learned that sharing sets only work with community licenses. So how do your internal users get access to records owned by external users? Welcome to Share Groups. Share Groups grant internal users access to records shared through sharing sets. A user in a share group gets full access to records owned by users associated to the sharing set. Previously, we saw how Pacifica used a sharing set to give users on the same account access to each other's cases. Pacifica now wants all their internal support agents to have full access to those cases. To do so, the Pacifica admin creates a share group on the sharing set and adds all support agents. As a result, those agents get full access to cases visible through this sharing set. Share group is associated to a sharing set. You can only have one share group per sharing set. A share group grants full read-write edit access to records owned by users and sharing sets. To learn more, check out these resources, or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.